Oftentimes people have a lot of trouble drawing tree trunks and branches. Um, they can get a little flat and idealized. What you're looking for is motion primarily. You're looking for any current motion, like any wind that's happening. And you're also looking for the m motion of how the tree grew. Um, and one of the ways that you do that is by pulling the tree up from the roots and using those roots to identify sort of how the tree is not particularly exactly circular. Um, it's kind of like a twisted rope in a way. So what you do is you look for lines in the bark that indicate a spiraling growth. Trees tend to bend towards the light and as the light moves over the year I would imagine that the, it actually twists the tree around and so the bark tends to spiral. Um, and you want to exaggerate that sort of motion and when you find that it's easier to figure out how the branches branch off. When you go to actually split the trunk apart into branches you'll look for um, any kind of sections that the roots grew up in and then begin to branch and make these branches change you're, and you're thinking about pulling them forward and backward not just side to side. One of the more interesting things is that the angle that, that a branch grows off tends to be very consistent from tree to tree. So when you look at a tree and you're analyzing it you have kind of a fixed angle at all of the branchings and that a angle usually repeats in the leaves and the veins in the leaves as well. Um, and then when you're getting very specific, say you're up close to a tree, or you want to do a study of a root system or a particular tree, you can treat the trunks and the branches as cylinders. And you should be pretty comfortable drawing cylinders if you've done any kind of object studies, structure, or still life. And so you're just applying that concept to a tree. And the way I think about it is every time the, the tree sort of changes direction, I'll draw a new little cylinder. And the cylinder doesn't have to be perfect, it, it, of course it's supposed to be organic. Um, so you can kind of use what you know about drawing cylinders to make the tree change direction. Um, the other thing that you want to do is establish an armature first and then build the cylinders on top. The armature may or may not have anything to do with the contour of the tree, but you can use that as the primary tool to decide where the tree goes. So if you develop a quick little gesture sketch under these cylinders, it's going to help you quite a lot. And you can see that the more you do this, the more information that you give about the tree, and the more likely you are to create something that's understandable and workable in your landscape drawings.